Greetings. Let's talk for a minute. I think one of the things that we talk about so much that we forget to define it in the SCA is arts and sciences, or ANS is the, the common term. You see it abbreviated all the time on social media and email and so forth. It's, it's pretty insane. So what is ANS? Well, it's certainly an umbrella term. Um, anytime we create just about anything tangible or we perform something, it can be reasonably lumped under the ANS sphere. Now, how do we get into it? What do we do with it? What is ANS? That's, we hear it so often, it kind of loses its meaning. So if you're new or you're just getting back in or the, the, the way we're talking about it is kind of throwing you, hear me out. We're going to talk about this for a minute. Arts and science is the, like I said, the broad spectrum of creating things. Obviously through a historical lens, um, obviously towards the means of, of contributing to the society, towards that ends rather. Now how do we do that? There's, there's a couple of different ways. Um, some of the ones I'm most familiar with as an example, scroll painting. You know, we, the crown and the nobility give out awards all the time. Every one of those scrolls is individually painted. Um, and the masters, the, the black lined work are available from, through the College of Scribes. If you want to get into that, by the way, please talk to your local Minister of Arts and Sciences, find out who the local scribes are, and uh, get into charter painting. It's my, wife, my wife's been doing it for years, and I do it every now and then. Um, but too deep in the weeds there. Arts and Sciences also includes, um, let's see, scroll painting, garb making, sewing, um, fabric painting for tents. You know, painting tent walls, painting tent uh, canvas tops for decoration, um, making benches, making um, thrones. That's actually kind of a big topic up north here in Ansteora because we're getting ready for our first coronet tournament and everyone's getting together to make thrones. All of the metalworking is arts and sciences. Um, one of our artisans is working on a sort of state right now for the, uh, the first territorial prince and princess making favors, making awards, uh, making medallions, stringing necklaces, creating just about anything. The performing arts, I, I don't want to forget about performing arts, any of the bardic performances. Those, doing any of those is part of the ANS influence, ANS sphere, as it were. Um, but what is that, what do we do with that? Now there, broad terms, there are three ways we apply ANS. These are my definitions, but I like to think that kind of covers all the bases. There is um, beautification. There is making things look or sound or feel better. These are helping with wall hangings. These are performing music at an event. Um, these are um, creating tablecloths or chair covers. Um, creating scrolls. These are all things that help make the SCA look and feel better. Um, there is arts and science has a service that is to create things for a functional standpoint. As much as we want to make things look beautiful, um, painting scrolls is a good example. That also serves a very functional purpose. That helps, that helps the gears of the society's award system actually turn. Um, as much as we talk about making tent poles as a service, and it is, and we do, I've seen a lot of people that do a lot of it, that's also carpentry. That's, you gotta, you've, you've got to get the wood the right size, sometimes you have to shave it down, sometimes you have to sand it, you have to stain it, you have to get the pins drilled properly. That's, that's a skilled arts and crafts. Um, Sometimes it's sewing tabards for heralds, or sewing the tabard for the baronial herald, or the tabards for the guard as their uniform. Um, making uh, ceremonial weapons or banner poles. Um, th these things help the help function, help serve a purpose. So there's uh, creating something there, even though it is creating something beautiful, and it is an arts and science. It is also a service because you are helping something to function. An event can go forward without wall hangings. We'd like it not to. We'd like it to look good. But it's very hard to hold court 
when the guard don't have the uniform tabards, they don't look right. I mean, that's that's actual a functionality issue. It's very hard to give an award when you don't have the scroll to give. That's It can be done, but that actually inhibits the functionality of it. So Arts and Sciences has a, a form of service is um, that is an aspect of it. And last but not least, uh, arguably, like you could argue the best for the last, is competition. Um, there are a number of competitions uh, every year in the SCA in each kingdom, sometimes in each group, where you can enter something. And there are different types of competitions. Oh boy, there's a bunch of different options. You have, um, there's populist judging where everyone gets to come in and they put a bead in a cup next to their favorite entry. Um, there are the type that are judged um, usually by the local or the visiting um, peerages or the grant level artisans who review yours on a, uh, a judging sheet. Um, there are times where the uh, nobles or the visiting crown will specifically uh, judge. Um, I mean, I've seen all combinations, but the ANS competition that is kind of treated as a crucible. That's where you really kind of cut your teeth on on your work and get ready for some serious criticism, get ready to be nitpicked to death. And that's, I know that sounds scary, and I know you automatically want to cringe, and a lot of you are like, I, I don't want to be nitpicked. That's, that's okay. The point of this is not to beat you down. The point of this is that this is the, the um, fellow artisan feedback that helps you improve your craft. And you don't have to compete. Let me be absolutely clear. We've talked about ANS for the sake of making things beautiful. We've talked about ANS as a service. And we've talked about ANS and competition. Any one of those is arts and sciences, and you're not required to do any of them. If you just want to paint scrolls because it's fun giving them to the kingdom to hand out, that is arts and science. It's also a service, and that's all you have to do. You're still an artisan. If all you want to do is help make things so that other things run better, make benches, make footstools, make um, you know wooden trenchers for feast, or make lanterns for all the tables, um, you know, whatever. That is, um, that is arts and science as a service, and that you are an artisan. That is a skilled craft. And do you want to go into the academic crucible of I'm going to have my work judged and all of my faults listed and and all of this 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 really sharp feedback put down on paper and handed to me? Um, I've done that once. It's it, I'm not saying it was I'm not saying it was horrible. It wasn't. I was glad I did it, but it it definitely it's very different from the other aspects of arts and science. But you can do that. And if you don't do that, you are no less of an artisan. So please, please don't fall into that trap of saying, well, I have to do this or that. No. Arts and sciences is making things. Arts and sciences is performing things. Arts and sciences is creating things that are beautiful and or functional within the society. Which path you go down, that's up to you. Now, how do you get into arts and sciences specifically in your area? If you're absolutely clueless I and mean, you have no idea where you want to do what you want to do, how, how to go about this, go find your local Minister of Arts and Sciences. Talk to them, have a conversation, buy them dinner, you know, pull up Skype, chat with them for a bit, whatever. Um, if your group may not have a local Minister of Arts and Sciences, I've seen that happen, um, see if there's a regional or kingdom officer who you can talk to. And just ask some questions, get some conversation going. Um, if you do have some interest, something specific, like I want to get into woodworking, or I want to get into metalworking, or I want to get into leatherworking, or I want to learn performing arts, I want to learn how to do bardic, or I want to learn how to play an instrument. It's a little bit different. Um, you still need to find someone. You still talk to a laurel in your area, or talk to an artisan of any rank in your area, and find out who's teaching, who's holding, perhaps there are meeting nights where you get to get together and talk about or practice. Um, I know a number of metalsmiths who hold uh, semi-regular shop nights where you get to go hang out and work metal and occasionally they'll put a jar out for donation tips for the metal you've used, whatever. Um, it, the point is, is that find out what's local to your area. Every time I've taken part in an ANS activity, it's always been a community that's glad for another person to join in. So please, please, please take advantage of that. Go meet new people. Um, go hang out with people you already know. Maybe you haven't seen them in this capacity. 
Go learn something new. And at worst, suppose you try something and you don't like it. That's okay. That really is okay. Matter of fact, it's great because it means you've tried something new and it means you're now going to make an informed decision that this I've done this, I've hung out with these people, and I'm going to go put my time into something else that I'm actually enjoying. Um, because uh, there's something to be said for you've never tried it, how do you know? I don't ever want to lean on anyone with that, but there's a lot of things in the SCA that I was certain I wouldn't like, and now they're a major cornerstone of my SCA career. So go talk, engage, find out more, find out what you like, find out what you don't like, and if at the absolute minimum, at the end of that journey, whether it be that journey is over tomorrow or next week or next month or next year, take something out of it, learn from it, and move on and make yourself happier with it. Until then, I'll see you at the next event. Goodbye and God bless.